used to be trouble as a youth And me daddy beat me, I saw this fucking up Gold will always be gold Gold will never be silver And five scarts is gold People, you know the vibe Welcome back to another YouTube upload So right about now, in the Wednesday We have quite a few exciting stories Because you don't know Blitz always a photo With some topic on and say yo, Jaja So right about now, we have some good news Said we are and we see massacre about the job a bad piece of visuals and some little bit of political aspect where we see a one so in other report here we have a whole heap of things to talk about but right about now vibes cartel as we know create a new product on the market and we see that they have by his thumb and we see popular Artists like TJ Ford out and I do him thing and I advertise it said way. So we have that for talk about in the report. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Everything that I spoke on Vibe Scotter is public knowledge. Everything that I spoke on the DPP is public knowledge. Watch you know. I'm here representing V876 Blitz. For this YouTube all right. So before we get into anything in the report, from what the uh, Vibes Cartel launched in new line, which is known as Fire Vibes Crush Grabber. Zimia say for all who smoke and anything there. And it be a one. As we all know, you know anything Vibes Cartel push and anything him aim to do, it I go sell off. Zimia say because him name are the biggest thing right about now in the media. And we just a wait for him freedom. And we need to stop stay in freedom because he's already free. We just a wait for see him then. Zimi say, so it's right about now. We see where in which TJ Ford out and TJ basically advertise the product. Said we. And that is a good look. You need to say we. We rate that and all our guan. So, if you want to be a distributor, you provide a number and them thing they said we. You can connect him up if you want to promote it. So, you don't know how we got to work. Zimia say, and it's a good look, said we for the artist. And anyway, fire vibes, fire vibes, crush grabber. Yeah, people been a say, blitz from what year? Oh, me not see her talk about massacre anymore. What go on? Your artist, this and your artist, that. No, let me tell you this right about now. Massacre are uh, get ready for drop the next video for the album. Zimia say, fight for us. And it going to take the place by a storm. And we have that fi look pan in the report. Yeah. So, I don't no feel like say rate, rate. As I say, I just work with the put in said way and we artists govern. As I say, nobody no need to really worry about that. As I say, the video you write about now, people, it going to fuck up the place. Big piece of song from the album, Generation of Kings and what? Wow. It's still a stream, it's still a fuck up the place. Repeat all day, every day. You know the vibe there. Life for just, feel the vibe for just. Spend my life for you, but die for us. Anyway, on the topic of die for us, you see me I say, like all my artists are say, the people at Jamaica, them, to all them love politics, them willing to die for the politicians, them. Right about now, them other man say, them want. Mark Golding for step down because him can't have no dual citizenship. We talk about it in the report we dropped yesterday. And them photo today and them a protest. And we have the video there, are the audio for really listen to and hear all the people them at Jamaica go on. You see me I say, honestly speaking, sometimes when I see them things, I just laugh, bro. And then sometimes I just feel hurt. Because at the end of the day, and every one of them are building fit from the whole political movement where we see a go on. We do a poll and 100% of the people, they must say, the biggest corruption in our politics. So, like how that a go on, we would just corrupt the movement and drop the thing that we would see a circle here with the people, them uh, protest. <laughs> Anyway, we try not to get into politics, but I have quite a few questions for ask to all of you love politics and take politics to them art and we shut a man now. <laughs> me say, 
But when you really gain out of them something here. Because I know people who love politics, you know, and the only thing they ever get out of politics is a hat and a shirt. And one of them whistleblower things that when politics are gone, is the man said them fling it on and them make up them nice and they might get a little ten or one little eight thousand dollars. Won't really get out of it sometime. Because I'm really one knowing them. So I can quit whatever me I do and run it down said way. You see me I say <coughs> Hey, Jamaican people are the set of people them where you can't to take serious, you know. You see me I say them are them people here, yeah, them would have said them are hustler, igla. You see me, I say, as long as them can make a little thing off of it, them are going to fold out and do it. And some people just do it for fun, said way. You see me, I say, them enjoy this as a sport. Especially the people, them when really work like that. You see me, I say, no disrespect still, because we don't know how employment things do, yeah, Jamaica, rate, rate, what have you. But I just want to know still, I'm curious in my time when I say things like them happen. Within our country, because of them same people here too, when them have them little good as a market, government running on it, and boy, Jaja, it just fuck up. But anyway, when I stay too long on the politics, last thing we go check out in the report is that I dropped a video yesterday with a female and she talked about a bag of things about vibes cartel. You see me I say, and it seemed like them a basher and a fighter out for her opinion what she make. She basically, we know the things that she say. Them here is public knowledge and people want to bash her and she had a man say she not stop my video like them until Vibes Cartel is being seen. Because we can't use the word freedom again now. Remember the man free right about now, but him illegally still the behind bars. So, him really and truly still want to know what kind of law or under what law is he held behind bars without freedom, you see me I say, or outside. Cause as I say, we can't use the word freedom no more, don't? But we're going to play the video and you're going to hear what the female officer. And as speaking, as I say, is a female with a liar background and knowledge. She seems like she's in the system said way. You see me I say, so it is really interesting that you watch the video to the end because she says some things too. And me I tell her, watch it for yourself. Now, I realized something also, guys. A one thing we are the uniting now. We unite in what? We unite in non changeable. You know what I mean by non changeable? We are one of those people that we are not interchangeable. We're non changeable. We don't want change. We unite in that. We don't like changes. We are, what are we? Are, are we afraid of what the possibility of something new will bring? We united in that. We united in the negativity. We are united in tearing each other down. We are united in fighting. Just somebody's opinion, somebody's views, somebody else's um outlook of how they see things. And on a quick for call somebody don'ts. And on a quick for call somebody names. But how about a dialogue and a conversation? Anyway, let me get into it. Now, I'm not a dancer, I'm far from dance. I'm not a village liar, far from it, but I've been experienced. And everything I speak on is because I lived through it. Who won't call me criminal? Criminal in a uniform and criminal, we can't go in a anywhere, any courthouse, any hospital, any jail. Whatever you want to call me. Number one, again, everything that I spoke on Vibes Cartel is public knowledge. Everything that I spoke on with the DPP is public knowledge. I may have made a one, two mistake of calling the, the appellate court, the appeal court, the Supreme Court. But I know the people who are educated and smart knew what I'm talking about because I live in the United States. But I have knowledge of what's happening in Jamaica because I don't sit down and watch YouTube vloggers and bloggers forget my news like all of y'all do. Not all of y'all. The ones that are commenting and saying the things that they're saying because what they watch... It's the vloggers and the bloggers on, 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 on YouTube. That's their news. They don't watch world news. They don't know what's happening in the world. They have no idea. They listen to what people are telling them. And if them say that is it, that is it. They don't even try to see if there's a next side to what they're saying. Anyway, I'm going off track. I'm going back to what I'm saying. Everything that I spoke on by Scott is public knowledge. 
Life cartel, we all know. Public knowledge was sentenced to 30 to life. Public knowledge. We know that in the last moment of his trial, he that there was one jeweler that was trying to bribe the other jewelers. Public knowledge, correct? Public knowledge, correct? We also know that this the woman was our man was allowed to stay on until the, the, the trial was over and where they found him guilty and then charged this jeweler with bribery and tampering and all these other things and sentenced this person. Public knowledge, correct? And when I said, how is that even possible? How do you allow, how do you allow a poison in that environment, knowing it's going to kill all these people? And then after you allow that person to poison all these people, then you go lock them up. That's my opinion and it's clear facts. Correct? Okay. My next opinion was after that virus cartel, we know that them said that lizard can't be found. Okay. Public knowledge. I also said that he went to the appeal court and the appeal court turned him down. Public knowledge. And when the appeal court turned him down, they had a similar case that they should have known that this is a big mistake. We can't do that because public knowledge. Why do we keep records? That's why we keep records so we don't make that same mistake again. Public knowledge. It's called ar archives. Public knowledge. <clears throat> Let's move on. And when I say that he went to the Privy Council, and the Privy Council did, did void his conviction. He's no longer a convict. Public knowledge. And I said that they send it back to the lower court, is the appeal court, to make this decision on whether it should be a retrial. Public knowledge. Somebody come in my comment and said, the DPP in our own amount said there's a retrial. The DPP cannot say there is a retrial she can tell you that she is going forward into asking for a retrial <clears throat> that's what her office is going to do her office is going to get gather papers together evidence reasoning and proof of not even proof but showing the appeal court the reason on the on on on, on the evidence as to why they believe that this court is a winning court going back into a second trial. And then Vice Cartel Lawyer will do the same thing. I've shown them why not it is not a good idea. And this is what we have. And then the appeal court will decide whether it's a retrial or not. So for the, for the ones who call me down, so I said the DPP said out one more. That's a correction. Number seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me give it to you again. My opinion only and that was that. Because of the mistake that was made and that vice quarter was tried in the eyes of the public, it would be wasting taxpayers' money in Jamaica. Because every household in Jamaica and around the world know who this man is. They already tried him and everybody had their opinion on him. Whether he's guilty or not. How can you, how can anyone vet out a person to say this is going to be an honest and true person about this? My opinion. Let me move from that. I mean, I teach, you know, but I want to learn. So you can teach me too if I made a mistake or if I say something that's not factual. Go back to the DPP. When I say that the DPP woman got an extension because her age of retirement was 60. It is 60. Somebody write me and say in Jamaica 65. No, it's not. The DPP and the Auditor General is 60. And they went, the, your bro God went in and make it legislatively law change that to 65 and now he's asking for a second extension for her but the appeal court turned that down the supreme court turned that down whichever one it is again i'm in america for her second tenure so let me correct the panda wonder again and when i say that this lady is sh i haven't heard one thing that she has done when it comes to the country and a whole with what's going on and the prosecution. It's the same people they are prosecuting. The same one other, the this other, the that other, the that Nothing else is not happening in Jamaica. No corruption now go on. The illicit six now happen. These bank, NCB and all these other places, these banks and all these other places that people are missing their money. There's no more, there's no more crime. Me not hear nothing more being prosecuted in Jamaica. It's the same people on the same line of things. So when I say this, this is whole systematic corruption 
I'm not taking sides. And for whoever come come and uh, uh, write me and tell me about PMP and labor right. I am neither PMP and I'm neighbor. I live in America. I'm not labor right and I'm not PMP. I'm Jamaican. And that is our problem. We put color before policy and change. And you need to vote policy and change. Overall, systematically change. The system needs to be changed. Some of our parliamentarians are almost 100 years old. But all we see is commitment. Commitment to what? Loyalty. And we see nothing else. And when somebody else like me comes out and speak, before you even have a dialogue about what we're talking about and see how we can be different from everybody else, what, what we do? We tear each other down. We don't go up on page and call names and all kind of things. And we don't come and come talk about lady this. Lady this. It's the name that's on the thing. is my correct name. It's Angel. But I'm just reacting. So get it straight. Anyway, personally, when she say we yardies really and truly tear down one another and do all sorts of things with the one another name. I look in tweet and I say, you know what's on a lie? We not really stand up for one another most of the time. As you may say, we have fight over one another and we use person opinion to fight over one another. So if a man said they not like the money, we are going to follow and say we not like the money. But we not really have a reason as to why we would like him, but that's just because of where the person they say. As you may say, so she really talk up a bag of things. She even talk about the DPP, she talk about the Prime Minister, and she just talk up a bag of things. So if I read far into this video, that means I get a whole heap of knowledge, public knowledge, as she says, said we. Because all of them things still is in the eyes of the public. But she just don't fold out back and say it like how the public or whatever she get her information from say it. She say it in her own words, and that's how you learn. As you may say, so honestly speaking, she talk up a bag of things said we and we just rate how people can fold out and express themselves from time to time. As you may say, that's how we learn. So definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. As you may say, and follow me on Instagram. You know the vibe. Watch you know, I'm here representing V876 Blitz. For this YouTuber.